Hello, I'm Robert Bilo with Citation Customer Service, and I am here to help with CL Calc, the Citation Loading Calculator for Weight and Balance, version 3.5, which is part of the Cessnav suite. This is how to manually install an aircraft database for Windows-based CL Calc. The Citation Loading Calculator consists of two parts, the program itself, which is installed from the Cessnav disk, and the data for each individual aircraft, which we normally deliver on a separate CD-ROM labeled CL Calc Database with the aircraft serial number. When we first invented CL Calc, the databases were access databases. At the end of 2006, we started using simple text files, and one of the advantages is that they are emailable. Perhaps you have opened CL Calc and found a message that there are no aircraft databases installed and you do not have a CL Calc database disk. If we have a database built for that airplane, we can fix that immediately with email. There are several reasons why it might be necessary to manually install a database. An old CL Calc database disk might be incompatible with brand new laptop. A virus might corrupt the database. Whatever the reason, it is relatively easy to manually install a new database. Basically, we just need to put the text file into the proper folder. Important! These instructions will work for version 2.1 through version 3.5 of the loading calculator. The version I am using has been current since before 2010. Version 4 due out in the first quarter of 2014, we'll use a different file location. We will create a separate video for version 4. First, I will show you how to install from a CD-ROM, and then we will look at email. Put your CL Calc database disk into your computer's disk drive. Let's just ignore the installer, because if that worked, you would not be watching this video. Instead, please open Windows Explorer. The easiest way to do that is click My Documents or My Computer. That will open Windows Explorer and then, under your computer's name, find the disk drive that holds the CL Calc database CD-ROM. My computer is named with a Cessna inventory number. Most people will see My Computer or something similar. Once you find the disk drive, put the cursor on it and right click. We want to look at the contents, not run the file. Depending on your system, the command will be explore, open to view files, or just open. Once you are looking at the disk contents, your database is the file with your aircraft serial number in the file name. This file should be a text file, which is good. If it is an access database file from 2005 or 2006, with an MDB file extension, then you had better call Pilot Services and let us email a text version to you. But assuming you have a text file, right-click the file and select Copy. Now minimize this window, and on your desktop, find CL Calc V3. Right-click the icon and select Properties. Properties will open on the general or shortcut page depending on your system. And let me pause here for a quick housekeeping chore. For Vista, Windows 7 or 8, please go to the Compatibility tab. For Windows, Vista 7 or 8, at the bottom of the page, please check the box that says Run this program as an administrator and click Apply. If it is already checked, that's fine. No other box on this page should be checked. This step does not apply to Windows XP. OK, now back to the shortcut tab. At the bottom of the page, left-click the button that says Open File Location. We're looking at Windows 7. On Windows XP, it would say Find Target. Once you click it, the folder where all of the files associated with CL Calc will open, and the calculator itself will be highlighted. All we need to do is put your database alongside all of the files that are already there. A moment ago, we copied your file to the Windows clipboard. So now, just put your cursor in a blank area of this folder window, right-click and select Paste. 
For more advanced users, you can also reduce the source and destination windows and simply click, hold, and drag the file from your CD-ROM drive into the CLCalc folder. Either way, we want to see a text file with your aircraft serial and the date of creation in the file name. One last task. Every time we run a weight and balance solution, we make changes in this file. So, right click the text file that you just put into the CLCalc folder, select Properties, and at the bottom of the page that opens, if the attribute labeled Read Only is checked, please uncheck it and click OK. Now, either minimize or close everything and the loading calculator should run normally. Now we will spend a moment discussing databases delivered using email. The concept is basically the same, only the source is different. I like to get started by getting the database out of the email and onto the desktop first. I can show you Microsoft Outlook and Gmail. These steps will vary with other email systems, but I think you will get the idea. Here is a typical Outlook email containing an attached CLCalc database. If I put my cursor on the attached file and right click, there are several options that will work. Please do not open the file unless all other methods fail. The danger is that we could corrupt the file if we open it. I'm going to use Save As. When I left click Save As, a box opens. Here you can see that on the left I have selected My Desktop as the destination. Then I click Save at the bottom. All I'm trying to do is get the text file out of the email and put it someplace that is easily accessible. For this first step, it does not really matter where you put it as long as it is easy to get to and it is the same text file that was in the email. Just for a second, let me go back one slide because I want to point out that there are several ways to accomplish this, which is important because there are so many different kinds of email. In this case, selecting copy and then pasting the file onto your desktop or even into the CLCalc program folder itself would also work. So would other actions save attachments. And notice I can still specify my desktop on the left. Now I will show you how the downloaded, saved, or pasted file looks on my desktop. Notice it is a text file, not a shortcut, not an HTML file. A text file is what we want and the file size is normally approximately 3 kilobytes, sometimes more, sometimes less. This one is 2.75. Just for a second, let's look at Gmail. Notice the attached file is all the way at the bottom and it looks like my only option is to click download. After I click download, I will then click save and then once again on the left I can select desktop as my destination. My point is that this step will vary depending on your email, but no matter how you got it there, you now have your database text file in an easily accessible location. The rest of the process is exactly the same as what I showed you at the beginning of the video. From your desktop, we go to CLCalc V3 Properties. For Windows Vista 7 or 8, check the Compatibility tab to make sure Run as Administrator is checked. Then back to the shortcut page to click either Find Target or Open File Location and paste the file into the folder. If you prefer, click and drag. We reduce the CLCalc folder and simply drag the database in. Now we right click the installed file, click Properties, and check to make sure the read only attribute is not checked. Now minimize or close everything and it should run. There is also a video available that addresses the most common issues with all three CessNav calculators, although we just covered two of them with this process. If you still have any problems, that video could be helpful, but if you get stuck, Please call Pilot Services for technical issues and Cessna Technical Publications for subscription related issues at the numbers shown below. We hope that our Cessnav software is helpful to you and thank you again for flying Cessna. I am Robert Bilo. Happy landings.